Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here at CES with NVIDIA about to take a look at GeForce Now. So not only were they awesome enough to sponsor this video, but if you guys caught my video a couple months ago where I took a look at GeForce Now for the Mac, you'll know that it actually works pretty well. So in that video, I was using a 2009 MacBook I got for $200 on eBay and playing proper PC games using the internet game stream tech, which sounds really exciting and fancy. Now, not only is that still around, but today we're actually able to also play now on the PC. One of the big advantages of GeForce Now is that you can play games on hardware that you normally couldn't. So take for example this. This is the HP Stream and it's a $200 laptop. Now, I've actually done a video on this a little while back. And while it's not a bad computer, gaming is definitely not its strong suit. Since this is cloud gaming, we are relying on having a decent internet connection, so this guy is gonna be hardwired in. But beyond that, the requirements actually aren't too crazy. In addition to GeForce Now being available for the PC, there are also now some Uplay games available, which is why I'm playing Rainbow Six. Uh, oh, okay, that's not good. See, this is a lot of fun. Something I'm noticing here is that the latency really just is not that bad. Even when I get into gunfights, the main thing that kills me is, uh, you know, my expert skills. One of the nice parts about this is that because we are playing via the cloud, we're actually able to crank the settings up pretty high. So I'm curious, what are we actually running at right now? We're running at very high settings on a Tesla P40 because you know, it's exactly what I wanna play on my $200 laptop. Since I did my last video, GeForce Now has seen some updates, including there's now an actual search function. So if you wanna look for a specific game, you can do that. And what's even more exciting is there's now an ultra streaming mode. The idea here is that in the cloud, the game is going to be running at 120 frames per second, and then you're going to still get a 60 frame per second feed to your computer. The idea is, is that that will help to cut down on some latency. Now, it's not supported on all games. One game that is supported is Fortnite. Something interesting here is that we're playing on a slightly higher end computer. So this is like a standard Ultrabook, and while it has a nicer screen, which is definitely helpful, the actual experience of playing the game should be the exact same. So like five seconds in, I can tell that this is actually a slightly smoother experience. So while there's very little latency on this side, having the game run at 120 hertz, even though I actually don't have a 120 hertz panel, just does cut down latency ever that much more. Also, I deployed my parachute way too early. <laughs> and actually what's interesting is, so we're in Las Vegas right now, the actual server we're playing this on is in Los Angeles, which is a few hundred miles away. Next, we have PUBG, which is the most popular game on GeForce Now, and well, basically everywhere else. So the demo here is we have two identical $400 laptops. One running the game natively at a slightly less than optimal two frames per second on low, and the other running the game at full 1080p 60 on, well, GeForce Now. So what's kind of interesting and something very helpful that NVIDIA has provided is a full chart showing the performance gains you can expect when you stop using the integrated graphics on your laptop. And as you can see, these numbers are much higher. Look, I don't have to do this. This is something I don't need to do, but I'm gonna try to play PUBG at two frames per second because I don't have a good reason, actually. I'm just gonna try it. It's a really impressive experience. I've gotta say, the, uh, the graphics are unrivaled and the frame rate is what some would call buttery smooth. I mean, there's less than probably five seconds of latency between when I hit a button and when I actually see my character move on screen. Like if I stop, there, he stopped. Anyway, I'm gonna move on to GeForce Now. I think that's, for real though, this is a great demo of what makes GeForce Now really interesting. The idea that with a $400 laptop that has pretty low end internals, I mean, this is like a Pentium, that's able to play games like PUBG at a really nice and smooth frame rate. Obviously you need a good internet connection, but it almost even makes more sense with PUBG because you need a good internet connection to play it anyway. Odds are, if you're going to be playing this, you're gonna have an internet connection that's going to be decent enough to actually be able to stream the game. I mean, PUBG is maybe not the greatest looking game in the world, but especially the last few patches really have made it look nice. And the desert map actually looks pretty decent. Although I know nothing about where anything is right now. Oh, oh, hello, hello, hello. No, 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 we don't. Yeah, there we go, I got my one kill. I feel very proud and accomplished that I caught a guy as he was running out of a building and uh, successfully got him. Okay. So while the GeForce Now beta for Mac has been out for a few months, it is now available for PC and it is still free, at least until Nvidia comes to their senses. Now the cool thing is that if you are already on the Mac beta, you can get on this immediately, but if you haven't tried it at all yet, you can get on the wait list and they're going to be adding more people every week. So if you guys have not tried this, it is definitely worth a look. But what do you guys think about GeForce Now? Let me know in the comments below and I will catch you on the next one.